air in like a little pillar thing. Now climb okay. into the mouth. Oh, this time I get the ticket. Oh, you get to shred it when we win. <laughs> Joke's on you. It gave us a gold ticket every time. <laughs> it didn't, of course. I but... see I see the inputs. You can't fool me. Mm-hmm. We gotta fill this cactus for the highest score. What the fuck is this room? Every, I swear, every time I do a We Were Here puzzle, I see the room and I just think to <laughs> basalt myself, Basalt columns! I will never figure this out. This room like, has so I many basalt columns. Hopeless. <laughs> is Pick this up. like Carcassonne or something? Oh, did I start a timer? It's no, it's like a tile place, a tile game. Let's see. So I've got a red pillar, a blue pillar, a blue pillar. There's like resources on the screen uh -huh. that I think I think we can both see that back wall that has a resource count of some kind. We're both just uh, behind the wall from each other. Like the A, B, C tiles. The thermometers that have three scores. Oh yeah, I see that. There's like in the back of the room for that that, that wall's yep. shared for us past that barrier. Yeah. Tiles remaining ten. Yeah, there's a whole on like Catan board here. Yep. For each color the biggest group counts. Oh, it is Carcassonne. Ah. We need to create the biggest sequence of connected uh hexes that are using the same color, and I guess we need to coordinate the fact that the two of us have colors. Uh, I, I assume that the two sides of the board match, like your board matches my board, so our pieces can combo with each other or something. I'm really unsure. Uh, do you have any pieces already set down in your board? Uh, there's two middle, like, wild... Oh, I can see where you're standing, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's a spotlight on the board right now. It's moving oh, around every now and then. Oh, I see that for you, too. That's interesting. But in, in the middle, there's two wild card looking tiles where it looks like they'll combo with anything that touches them. Oh, interesting. Do you have anything in the middle of your board? So my two wild card things uh, is, oh, maybe, oh, they're not wild card. Are they just question marks for you? Uh, They're hexagons that have all three colors on them. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I have, uh, like, where I'm standing right here and here, there's like a red. And then here is blue, and then more blue, and then red and green. So, like, I, I guess what I'm saying is I have, like, colors. Like, distinct so, ones. Like, you already have placed colors? Yes. Let's see. I don't know if we have a time limit, do we? No, we have a tile limit, though. Do we That's have a tile limit when we pick these up? I don't think so. See. I want to see if that thing that looks like a clock moves over time or not. Okay. Alright, so I guess we need to start comboing based on what you see. So... Uh... Let's revisit what you saw. Or I guess let me know where you think I should place a tile. I have a, I have two blue... Call, I have two blue pillars and one red pillar I can place. So I can also pick up tiles on my end. But my board doesn't have anything on it besides the fact that the middle two tiles, which are right here and right here, are look like wild cards. Okay. Yeah, so these I, are... I'm. I don't know what's gonna happen when we try to place a tile. I like. I. I think we should just try something that seems yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Then... Like. Like, since this is a wild card, didn't you say there was a blue attached to this? Uh, so if I stand here, or here, or here, or here, these are all blue attachments. Those are all blue. Yeah. Okay, so here I guess I should all add... The green also works where I'm currently standing. It's both? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't have a green. Maybe if I just add... Oh, uh, I was wrong. 
Okay, the middle two are not wild cards. They're the only places I can put something. <laughs> oh! So these two middle tiles here, I can put a blue or a red on them. Uh... I... I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, We're just trying to make the biggest chain of the same color for each color because the... We, the uh, we have a score based on how uh, how good our overall totals all are, but only the biggest combo of a specific color counts. Okay. Uh, and I think that we probably need to get all of them above a certain threshold. We need to try to, to hit. Make, a, I don't know. We need to hit a score of twenty-one or higher across all of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I. I have no preference. Put it down whichever one makes you happier. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't have any information, so I guess just Me put neither. it down there. I have no idea. You can see the board. I can't see the board. Uh, it doesn't really look like it's going to be that impactful yet. Sure, but like, we just need to make choices. Red can be here or my here. board's just empty. Blue can be here or here, or here or here. Red can be here or here, or green can be here or here. What? Wait, what happened I know. here? No, I, I'm trying. I no. Uh, I put that down, and the staircases to my other tiles went. Away. Oh, maybe it's your turn. Okay, yeah. Uh, and the stair the staircase the 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 basalt column staircases to my tiles went away. Okay. So, I want to do this. What did that do on your end? Anything? Uh, it might be making my new things. Uh, oh, I see a big point of confusion. Because I have yet to see a tile that's <clears throat> all one color. And I think you've been able to see those. The thing I placed seemed to just be blue, but maybe its background was multiple colors? Boy, this would be a weird time to find out you're colorblind. But the uh, the one you put down says blue and green. Did the tile itself, did the column itself look blue and green, or just the tile after, like that was behind it, on the stand? Uh. <laughs> the tile behind it on the stand. When it, yeah, when it's up, when you where you got it from, didn't it have a backboard? Uh, I can, I guess. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hang on, I want to see what you see. What the fuck is going on over there? Oh, you! What wow, the your board fuck looks, am I wait, looking at? You, wait, your board looks completely different. What does that stuff say? What the hell is happening over what there? What is that two three zero thing you're looking at? What? <laughs> Wait, there's like information so, about how you t count tiles or something? Yeah, so I, I don't think have, mine is I don't have chain that backboard. Tallest? No, mine just is saying that those are a series of tiles that share faces with each other. And it has okay. two colors on my board. My my back my example board has purple and orange. Uh-huh. So they're showing that you get two points for those two purples that are with each other. And you get four points for those four oranges that are together, but you get zero points for the isolated orange because the four group is bigger. So you have secondary colors. You have oranges and purples. Uh, and that's I have just primary an, colors. I only have primary colors. That's just my example board that tells me the oh, rules. Oh, my example board is also oranges and purples. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Above that, it says for each color, the biggest group counts, and yours doesn't seem to have a banner at all. So I guess that rule's just only told to me. Yeah. That's why I was saying that the biggest group counts. Okay. So we need to try to make a big chunk of green, a big chunk of blue, and a big chunk of red so that they collectively, the biggest okay. groups of them are worth 21. Yeah. So I can make a big ol' honkin' chunk of red if I take from the C thing. Oh, the C. But I can't oh, reach because the, these are letters. Yeah. yeah. Because I think you took a C tile already? I'm not sure. Well, you placed something, so I think it's my turn, maybe? 
I think so. It's gonna try to put a. I think you said that there was red over. Uh, let me stand on it. Uh, yeah, red right where you're, right here yeah. is good. Red, is, red there is the hottest thing in the face of the earth. That should be connected to the red, hopefully. Did you already make your move? Yeah. Okay. I guess maybe you can't see what I'm doing. No. Does anything happen on your side at all when I do my turn? No. Okay. So at the beginning of the game, I had two options for where to place things, and they were uh -huh. wild card. You could put anything there. You put something down last time, and it became a blue and green tile. And then the thing you just put down became another wild card tile. So what you're doing is you're actually choosing which tiles I get to place t things in. So I, because I can't okay. place them anywhere, I can only place them where there's like a receptacle. So you, during your uh -huh. turn, you're you're making spaces for me, and they and I can only place the colors that are available to me based on whatever backdrop you had or whatever, okay, whatever whatever you can see when you're get when you're getting it. Okay. So. I put a blue and a red in the middle uh -huh. in my previous two turns on my starting tiles based on where you said they seem to neighbor the other blues and reds. You put something down next to those that is blue and green, so I can put a blue or a green there. Oh, uh, okay. And then you, the one you just placed that's one tile further towards the boundary is a f another wild card where I can place anything there. Okay. So I guess the question uh, is, so this, this is one right... So this supposed to be a red. Hmm. Well, the, uh, yeah. So you want, you want me to put a red there, then? On the I one that's, that's by the boundary? I, I think so, because the only color on that tile is a red. Is red. Uh, well, it, it will making it... Will putting a red there help connect to reds? No. If you put a red here, it'll connect to reds. Like, you, I can only place things where you've placed things. So the other okay. option I have is this space. What, what color What color would help make a combo here? Uh, these are both already connected, and it's red and green. These are both already connected. What does that mean? Uh, these are both already touching another red and a green on this one. I, I need more definitive answers because I can't make decisions because I can't tell what you're what you're looking at. I you're trying to you're trying to make the biggest group of each of them collectively. So you're trying to plan out your routes of where you want them to grow. Yep. And I can only like place a thing, but I can't see the data. So the tile that I'm currently standing on, uh, which is I think the same tile that you were standing on, right? Yes. Uh, this is connected to a red group and a green group already. So which would you want to be placed there? I have no idea. Like, I don't know how our boards interact at all. I think I'm... You're placing tiles that let me place the pillars. The pillars okay. are what we are scored on. Okay. So I need to place things... I need to place something that's going to combo the best with whatever is going on there. I think red... Okay. Uh, I can't do a red there. It's only green or blue. Uh, then green? Yeah. Alright, I've placed green. Okay. Uh, then I gotta take my turn, I guess. So, for whatever reason, when you placed green, that influence that I could only take from the B... Uh... Stack. I couldn't take from A or C. Okay. I, don't, I have no fucking clue how or why. I think it's because B is where I got green from. Okay. So I guess the backdrop I see behind the pillar is going to be the tile you get to place. I guess you're placing tiles and not pillars? Yes, I'm placing tiles. Okay. Uh, so my two options are here, or, or where I'm currently standing. Here. Okay. Or here. And what colors is it? Uh, 
Uh, it'll be green. It'll be green? So you want to place it here, because this is where we have a green pillar. Thought so. This is a whole process. Okay. Okay, so I guess I am just placing the pillars and then giving you the option to place certain backdrops. Hmm. So my options are two green pillars and a blue pillar. One that has an all blue backdrop, one that has an all green backdrop, and one that has wild card backdrop. So that seems like the safest option. It's the one that gives me two options. It means I need to place a green tile. So I, I have two play. I have two options for where to place a green tile. I can place it here, or I uh, can, can place you... it here. Uh, can you show me the first one again? Here. Not there. So here. Uh, for green, yes. Okay, they just connected with a beam, so we now have a connection of at least two green. Okay. And it looks like... Oh yeah, it says we have... It says that we have two points of red and four points of green on the back screen now. Mm hmm So I guess you must have more green... And, you, you must have some green and red connecting beams on your screen that I can't see that are also I affecting your score. I don't have connecting beams, but... Uh... I... Uh, hmm. I connect the backgrounds, basically. So the best place for me to put the next tile is here. And it's like not even close, like how much of a better spot this is than everything else. Does this work for you? What, uh, the backdrop, let's see, that your, your tile is green and blue, right? It'll be green and blue. Okay, I can get a blue to put there, so that should work. Okay. Oh, are they going away? Oh, like I said, I guess we'll see what the new ones are. But hopefully they get, they didn't give me a blue. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my options are green and red. Which one would go well here? Uh, can you uh, step off the tile and back onto it? Uh, your option is red. Red will go good there. Uh, I have red or green. It's currently connecting to two green pillars, but I don't know if you have any things connecting to this. Uh, I have nothing yet, uh, but red is my best option to connect there. Um, I guess I don't understand what that means. <laughs> uh, uh, it's disconnected and the only color that's on it is red. The only color that's on it is red. Uh... Like, what do you see? Is it a tile with a red hexagon? So, I have a hexagon, and the borders of them are various colors. Uh, here, I'm going to take out the middle tile and just see if you can see my floor. Uh, nothing changed in the middle. I, I mean, uh, come through the window and look over at my board. I don't think I can see down to your board. I can see your board. Very obscure Barely. view. Oh, because you have like a... I guess yours looks completely different. You've got like a snakes and ladders thing going on. Yeah. Are, yeah. You, trying to, are you trying to make the, the longest combos of those like amoebas? I think I'm, I think I'm making long chains, yeah. You're playing like Ticket to Ride or something over there? Yeah. That's baffling that we just have different boards. Like mine's a pretty straightforward. Every tile is a, every time. Every time you place a thing, I get a, a a hexagon that has one, two, or three color variations, and those are just the options of what pillar I can place on it. And if I just uh -huh. make a and if, and as you can see from my from my backboard, like I'm just trying to make the most pillars that connect to each other in a chain. So I think that our yours colors looks like a free associative boards. nightmare. I think that the colors on our boards don't have to match at all. Yeah, I think we're playing two separate boards that are scored separately. Yeah. 
I'm just, so, I think so our goal is for me to place something that somehow it helps enable your side of the board, but I actually don't understand yours very well. I don't understand mine very well either. <laughs> I... uh, I'm wondering if maybe our the only real connection between my board and your board is the tiles that you get to place. Well, the tiles that you place create the spaces exactly. I can play in. Exactly. I think that's the only real connection between our boards. Am I not creating? Does nothing ever happen on your side of the board when I do stuff? No. So you're just kind of like freely playing a connect these snakes game and then I have, I just deal with the wild card fallout afterwards, basically? Yes. Okay, I guess I've been worried about how to affect your side of the game or whether or not that's going to screw you over, but maybe it's not affecting you. I don't think it is, which is super confusing. Or I guess what happens is that which of the things I pick... Oh, that's that's how I affect your side of the game, is which one of them I pick chooses oh. for you which one you get to pick. There, that's it. Oh so my that's, god. That's how I'm filtering okay. your choices, but I don't affect your board or where you put it on the board. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. It's like, I have these two green pillars next to each other, so, like, right now, I kind of want to go out of the options that I'm given right now. Uh, it only makes sense for me to grab a green one. So I guess the question is whether you're better off if I pick A or C. Oh, my God. This is such a better way yeah, to no. this game. <laughs> what a confusing setup. Uh, I'm just going to explain. Like, just put it down and see what lights up. Oh, e easy for me. So, wait, so either of us can pick first and it locks in the other person because you just went first and it locked in my choice. Oh, so now I'm, now I'm restricted to C, which works. I can do C. I don't want to do C. Okay, well, A or C work well. Uh, if I if you pick B, I don't have the, anywhere to put the red. Yeah. All right. What a complicated setup to parse. <laughs> like, we know it's asymmetrical, but how? <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, I have placed uh, my tile, this, I guess. Does this tile... If I place a tile here, is this good for you? Uh... Put it back? So I can see the tile you have. Because I can see the back of your tile, which is how it affects my board. Put it back? The, yeah. Okay. The, the backdrop that shows up for me... Okay, that's a wild card. Yeah, you're safe. Like, I, can put, I can place anything there. Okay. So we're good. Yeah, when I... The, the tile that you pick up that has, like, shoots and ladders or whatever on it, the side on my side is the hexagon, so it tells me what I'll be allowed to place. Okay. But I can't see it when you're holding it, because you took it away. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're back I to see. A, B, C. I've got two options to place... A wild card one or this more restricted one. And this one's... I don't have a red to play. Let's see. So this one right here should be a blue because there's no red to pick. And there's only one blue on the board. So I really want to pick A. Uh, I can work... Uh, Wait, so if you take A, that means I have to take A? I forget how that works. Yeah, it locks it in so that the other, the other staircases go away. Okay, I like A a lot. Okay. So I'll pick up A, which the backdrop is green and red, so I gotta remember that. Okay. And hopefully we're. I wanna place it here. Uh, oh, sorry. I wanna place it here. Um. It's a little rough, but maybe I can chain green to there eventually. I can also place it here. Uh. And reasonably well. That that attaches to red, which is one of the colors on the tile. So that works significantly better on my end. Okay, so where I'm standing right here, everyone's happy. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Hmm. Yeah, There's our blue just like fucking doubled in <laughs> value from that. <laughs> yeah, we're getting up there a bit. Do we have 15 points? For green? Yeah. Is our... 
I wonder our if goal our goal is per color. Yeah. I wonder if our goal is to make all of them 21. I think it is. If that's the case. Uh Okay, two times four, one times four. Okay, so on your end, is there a chain of five green tiles? Yes. I get the scoring system. Oh, I'm the I, multiplier and you're the base. I have three columns of green and you have five tiles of green, so it's 15. Yeah. So it's so it, it's a multiplicative thing. So we desperately need to increase uh, my reds. <laughs> Yeah. Because your tiles can contain multiple colors on them. Yes. Okay, so we're, we need definitely to be aiming for red to get our scores up then. Okay, okay, so I have two red columns and both of them have green backgrounds that are pure green. So there's not much choice here. So it's just a matter of whether you want A or C. Okay, let me look. Uh... As for me, they're identical. I'm gonna just pop A off and use it to like experiment a little bit. Oh, whoa. Okay, we're, we. Oh, tiles remaining four. Okay, so we do not fill up the board. <laughs> no. So we need to very much be paying attention to our score and not how much space there is. I was thinking, I was trying to plan out like the globes. Like mm -hmm. that one, like that game you play uh, in Pummel Party where you fill up the screen. You said C was the other good one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we desperately need to raise our reds. Um, I can increase our red multiplier, which might be the best idea. Yeah, you want to, you want to, our goal is for us to simultaneously increase the red okay. in both ways, basically. Oh, sorry, I didn't verify <clears throat> the position with you at all. My bad. Oh, uh, I guess we'll, we'll wing it. At least we understand this enough now that we could play it very quickly when we retry. Yes. Yeah. It just it took us a long time to parse the shit that was happening here. Yeah. All right. So now it's. Okay, now we have eight red. Okay, that was good. Yep. Why are red and blue glowing and green's not? Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure gonna that, read into that too much. I'm not sure. What, maybe it's maybe we just increased both. I don't know if, if blue was just at eight or not. I don't know. Maybe it's indicating the score change. All right, so blue and red are both good to increase. Uh, I have uh, our placement's pretty rough. Yeah. The places I can place a tile, the only place I can continue a chain at all is I can place a green here. If I grab the green, which is B, then you'll get a red tile. Alright, let me see what B looks like. There's nothing else I can place will even chain. You kind of ended up snaking off in the distance so it's not connecting to the, uh, the base. Yeah. But I think all of them have to reach 21, so green's not super ideal to increase, but maybe it'll incre increase other scores on your end. Um, I mean, the only things I need to increase scores for are red or blue, but if you look, our chains, like, I'm even across the board, so I'm super flexible at this point. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean it does, ultimately we're both equally capable of increasing the score of something, like, yeah, they're both they're both they're both equally effective in the multi multiplication. We just want to you want to prioritize the ones that we have the least of. Mm hmm. Uh. So you said that the only one that seems decent is uh is B. You yeah, said? B is the only one that really works because you've you've left me with a little dangle that only connects to green. Okay. And that's the only green pillar they gave me. And its background is red, so I, ideally it would be by the red pillars, which are like 
like here, 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 and here would all connect to red. Okay. Like these five connect to red, everything else would not work well for being able to expand red. Uh, so I think right here I can do some good stuff. <clears throat> okay. Go grab that green. How are the scores looking? Okay, our green is way up there now. Yeah. And there's a bit more blue and red. So you you're, you definitely get more number than I do, <laughs> generally. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we need to try to pump up blue and red. Uh, and that's rough, because on my end, I only have places... Okay, my, my, yeah, my options are super fucked. Uh, I have a... I currently have access to an, an only green tile and an only red tile to place in, and they gave me two blue pillars and a red pillar. <laughs> okay. So we have to pick... <laughs> we have to pick C. Okay. And the backdrop C of C like is blue and red. Luckily, C is one of my best options. Yeah, uh, these three would connect to blue. Which one? Like these connect to blue, if you can put them uh -huh. around here. I can make that happen. So, like here? Yeah, that can work. Are them scores looking? Eh, we're bronze with one tile left. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. Okay. This is very tough. But we're going to do so much better on our second play. Yeah. When they mentioned it being two hours long, I think they might have meant for when you just for winning. Not <laughs> without being us and needing to ace the whole thing. True. Uh, so I have a place where I can place a blue, and they did give me a blue, and they gave me two green uh, columns, which are pretty bad for us because of the giant green score we already have. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, you can tell the fact that our blue score just reached 12, and now the 12 is sticking out, so the lowest yeah. score is it. So we have to get them all yep. 21. Okay. Yeah, we'll okay. do just so, fine on our second So I have through. to grab C. Okay. Which is red or blue, or red or green. And I can place that here. See, that's a red or green. If you're putting it over there, that works for red. Like, here would be fine. Here would be fine. Yeah, those all work for me placing red. Okay. If they give me one. I mean, this is our last tile, I think, so... Yeah, it probably doesn't matter anymore. But there might be one more. You never know what, what tiles remaining means. Ah! Oh, 18! We oh, did it's all over. right! Not bad. We got up there. We got silver. Yeah, we, we got silver. We so came from way behind, too, so yeah, that was Yeah, so sick. red and green hit 21. Or, or 20. Yeah. All right, let's try again. I think it's going to go much smoother. So you take... So this gives me a, the... Okay, so it's totaling my ticket. You take the ticket, and then there's a retry machine that lets you shred it. Die. Chomp, 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 chomp. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this was wild. <laughs> I... Uh... This was very confusing. Mm -hmm. We got it, though. Right, we understand so, what's happening now. 